Hey everyone, Corey from Aquarium Co-op. Today, we're gonna learn about vinegar eels. I know you can't see them because they're like microscopic. I'm gonna hopefully be able to get them so you can see them. But we're gonna learn how to set up a culture and uh, yeah, stay tuned. So vinegar eels are like the smallest, not the smallest, but one of the smallest and easiest live foods to culture. Way easier and way smaller than like vinegar, not vinegar eels, uh, microworms and banana worms. Yeah, this camera's not gonna focus on it. You gotta get it like in the, in the light and you can just see that it's cloudy. So you see the cloudiness? Those are all very tiny worms. Now my camera's really zoomed in here. So what do you need this for? Maybe like raising up uh, bettas, maybe you're raising up German blue rams, those type of things. Things that, you know, killifish, uh, rainbow fish, things that need really, really, really small foods. And so we're gonna teach you how to do that. And so vinegar eels live in vinegar. Here's apple cider vinegar. Here's cut up apples. This is gonna be the food for these guys. And that's what the chunky stuff is in this. I bought this culture on Aquabid, you could too. Um, we might sell it on our website in the future, so if you're watching this, check our website. If we don't have it, then we decided not to. But we need some containers. We've got some, we've got this big gallon here full of vinegar. We've got this, which I've done it in the past, but it's much harder to uh, get the vinegar eels out. And then I've got a wine bottle that we borrowed from a neighbor that uh, we're also gonna set up a culture. I'm gonna teach you the trick of harvesting the uh, vinegar eels through some filter floss. And so we'll go through it, we're gonna set up these cultures and we'll get to it. So first thing first, we've rinsed out our containers and this is a two liter bottle, it had talking rain in it, um, sparkling water. I'm just gonna take the label off, that way we can see into it. And the first thing we wanna do is provide a source of food for the eels, or the vinegar eels, once we get them going. So we've got cut up apple, and we're using apple cider vinegar, and you're going, isn't this gonna break down and rot and go horrible? Well, the, the vinegar is so acidic that you don't grow any fungus or mold or anything like that. And so actually, no, it's not really a problem. So you can put a couple of, you know, a couple of pieces in there. You don't wanna put a ton, you don't wanna put none in there. It's just, you know, so I put four little cut up pieces in there, each one. And then what we need to do, we need to fill each one halfway with vinegar. And uh, this is the messy part where I probably should have a funnel and I don't. So we're gonna watch Corey spill vinegar everywhere. But we'll see what I can get done here. Now hopefully I'll just time lapse this and it won't take forever. We basically wanna fill each container up halfway. All right, so it's not an exact science. You know, basically we're gonna water down the vinegar a little bit with water. <laughs> That's why we're watering it down. We only use some dechlorinated water. Um, but first, we're gonna try to get it out of this bag and into these cultures. And I'm actually gonna make three cultures today. Uh, I'm gonna make one in this two liter, make one in this bottle, and then since I've got half a bottle of vinegar sitting here, why wouldn't I make a third backup? So that means I gotta put my piece of apple I had over here into here. That way they've got food. And this is like triple bagged. I need to like cut a corner or something or just tear a corner. And I gotta get just, I gotta be able to pour this in a little bit. I'm gonna grab scissors. That seems logical at this point. All right, let the mess begin. I'm gonna cut just a tiny corner off of this and see if I can't uh, pour this. So we will see. And basically I'm just gonna split it into thirds between the three. And there we go. I'm going to pour some in here. This is going to start all the cultures. Because once they start breeding, and it can take up to a month for them to really start rocking and rolling. I'm going to put the majority into the biggest one because that makes the most sense. So now we've got basically our cultures inoculated. That means there's vinegar eels in each one. If we give them time, they will reproduce. That's a good thing. I'm gonna go top these, not top them off, but I need to fill kind of to the crown of each container uh, with water. 
and so that way they can still uh, breathe and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go fill it with dechlorinated tap water and uh, we'll try them right back in. I'm gonna show you how to seal them up and then what we're gonna do next. All right, so you can see here we've got, you know, it, it, it up to the neck in each one with water. So we've got apple cider vinegar, we've got water. So basically half and half, we've got our apple slices and we've got our starter culture in each one here. Now, these two, to the left, these are cultures I'm just gonna let go for a long time so I have backups and I can give them to friends and I can sell it and I can do all those things. But we need to make sure that we're not gonna have a problem on our hands. We don't want any bugs doing anything in there, anything weird, attracting ants or anything weird like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a paper towel and we're gonna like rip it in half roughly, okay? And we're just gonna put it over the top with a rubber band. That allows the whole culture to still get oxygen uh, but not let anything in. So it's as easy as that. That is now done. That can go up on a shelf and or down low. You know, you wouldn't want to put it in sunlight or anything like that, but it doesn't really matter where it goes. Just don't let it get knocked over. It'll stink. And there's culture number two. Done. So those are done. You could write dates on it, but it doesn't matter because these could sit here like this for years and you'd still have some vinegar eels. Now, it's gonna hit its prime in about a month. For the next like six months, it'll be in its prime. After that, it'll lose its strength a little bit. Um, but we wanna focus on one that we could harvest soon. And so that's what this is. We've got this bottle with a neck on it. We need to take that floss and we gotta put it in here. And uh, we're gonna take some and we're just gonna put it in. And you just gotta stuff it in there. Don't get your finger stuck like I was about to do. So I'd say just like that. So now we fill, so I'm gonna try and do this in only 24 hours. Usually you're gonna let this go for a couple of weeks. We're gonna see what I can get pull off here for this video. But the, the premise is this, your vinegar eels are living down here. If you fill this up with water, the only air is gonna be at the top here, right? So the vinegar eels have to come through here and that's where you can harvest them with a pipette. So, we are gonna fill that up. We're gonna let it sit overnight, and hopefully, I'll be able to show you some vinegar eels ready to harvest and feed out. You wanna pour this water real slow, because it's gonna let the air out. There we go. So now, we wait 24 hours. Well, it's been, not 24 hours, it's been about 12 hours. The next day, and I've got the vinegar eel culture. It's working, it's not teeming with it yet. Cause like I said, it takes up to a month to really get that full culture going. But, we can cut to the macro shot here, but I had to set up my phone with a macro lens on the vinegar eels during sunlight and you can totally see it. And we'll cut to that now and you can see all those tiny little worms squiggling around. And those are the micro, micro, micro foods that we're gonna feed to all those killifish, rainbow fish, rams, anything that's crazy small. And then, so if you don't have an active culture that you're gonna harvest, by the way, you just use like a pipette, right? You just, I don't know where my pipettes are. Let me grab one here. But all you need to do to harvest you grab a pipette, which we, you know, we sell these on the website, they're cheap, and uh, you just gotta get in there, suck some up, and I wonder if I can get that on camera. But, and then all you gotta do is walk over to an aquarium now. Like these tiger barbs here, they're really, they're too big to really wanna mess with this. But, you know, if we had very small baby fish in a small tank, they would eat it. And then you store your backup cultures, like I just have them up here by my air pump. All they gotta do is sit up here, and as that food kind of decomposes, it's a food source, and they will keep going. Now I've had cultures like that that I've forgotten about for a year, two years, something like that, and then you go one day like, oh crap, I need to make a new one. You pull it down, it's just fine. You could make giant cultures out of five gallon buckets, but I try to keep manageable. 
you know, because I, 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 I'm not raising like 10,000 rams a month or anything. I don't need anything crazy like that. So, but that's how you do it. That's the easy way to harvest. There's another way as well that I should mention. You could pour vinegar, the vinegar mix, through uh, like a coffee filter, and then all the vinegar goes through, and you could dump that back in. But that's way more work than just harvesting it this way. Now, you can basically harvest this for a few days, maybe up to a week in this water, but eventually you'll dump out the water and fill it with new water. And, uh, you know, it's pretty easy. But if you're taking pipettes out every day, and then you're, you know, you're going to need to refill with water anyway, it's going to evaporate. So, you know, it's kind of a self-sustaining system. Uh, but that's how you do vinegar eels. Hopefully, you guys found that helpful. You guys were asking, how do I do vinegar eels? And I said, I'll get the stuff, I'll put it together, even though I have no use for it at the moment. Now I'll have it sitting there, and maybe I'll start selling them on the website, and uh, yeah, vinegar eels forever, for days now. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you're new to the channel, and even if you didn't like this video, go ahead and subscribe, because this, this is just a tip of the iceberg compared to what we do. So uh, until next time, we'll see you in the next one.